So in this lecture, we continue our discussion on the divisibility rules. So let us go step by step to find or discover one more divisibility rule. And what we have to do is we have to find out any two co-prime numbers that are factors of a number, let us say 80 is what we have taken here. So in order to find out the co-prime numbers, we will first write down all the factors of 80. So the factors of 80 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10. Yes, 10 does divide. Then what is next? We forgot that 8 also divides 80. So yes, 8. Then we have 16. When 16 is multiplied by 5, 16. Then we have 20 so divides 80. And then 40. And then of course 80. So these are the factors of the number 80. Now what we do is we have to take any two co-prime factors. So we can take 4 and 5. And when I say co-prime it is just that 4 and 5 have only 1 as the common factor which is the number 1. So now what we are supposed to do is to multiply the co-prime factors and see if the product that is the result is also a factor of 20. So when I multiply 4 with 5 the result I get is 20 and when I look up at this 20 in the list of factors of 80 I, we can locate it here. So 20 is a factor of 80. Now let us take two one more set. We can take 2 and 5. So 2 and 5 are again co-prime. The only common factor between them is 1. So we can multiply 2 with 5 and we get 10. And is 10 a is 10 a factor? Yes, it is. 10 is also a factor of 80. So now let's take any other example, 60. So what are the various factors of 60 that we have? Right? Uh, so rather than writing all the factors, we can just take two numbers. We just have to find out two smallest co-prime numbers that divide 60. So one is 3 and the other one is 5. 3 and 5 both divide by 60. Now we, we just multiply these two. 3 multiplied by 5. This gives us 15. Right? Now is 15 a factor of 60? Yes, 15 is indeed a factor of 60. 15 multiplied by 4 is 60. So we have discovered a rule which we can say as divisibility by co-prime numbers. It says that if a number is divisible by two co-prime numbers, then it is divisible by their product also. It is kind of a reverse way of saying the earlier one in which we found out that, uh, just to show you the earlier one, in which we found out that if a number is divisible by another number, then it is also divisible by each of the factors of that number. So in a way, this is just another way of saying that rule. But again, in this case, we take the co-prime numbers into account. Now let us discuss another rule. Right. So what we have to do is, we have to find out common factor of 16 and 20. We just have to find a common factor. So the one that straight away comes to my mind is 4. 4 is a common factor to both 16 and 20. Now what we can do is, what if we add these two numbers that are 16 and 20, right? So 16 plus 20, this gives us 36. Okay, and check whether the sum is divisible by the same factor. So is 36 divide, divisible by 4? Yes, it is. 36 is divisible by 4. Let us say we take another factor, in that case 2, right? 2 is a factor of both 16 and 20. And when we take the sum, which is 36, is 36 divisible by 2? Yes, it is. So we come to a divisibility rule that can be called as the divisibility for sum of two numbers. And it says that if two numbers are divisible by a number, then their sum is also divisible by that number. So we saw that this 16 and 20 are divisible by 4. Hence, their sum, which is 36, is also divisible by 4. And same applies for the number 2 as well. So this is what we call as the divisibility rule for sum of two numbers. Now, let us try and finally discuss the last rule that we will be discussing here. 
in this case also we are supposed to find a common factor of 30, between 35 and 20 for these two numbers. So the one that comes straight away to my mind is in the number 5. It is straightforward, right? Now what we have to do is subtract the numbers. So in the last case we added the numbers. Here we are subtracting the numbers. So let us say that I am subtracting 20 out of 35. So the remainder or the difference is 15. Now is 5 a factor of 15? Yes, it is. So this rule which we have observed here can be called as divisibility for subtraction of two numbers. And it states that if two numbers are divisible by a number, then their difference is also divisible by that number. So just to put it in another way, 5, okay, so we see that 35 and 20 are divisible by the number 5. Hence, their difference, that is 35 minus 20, 15, is also divisible by the number 5. So uh, having said that, we conclude our discussion on the divisibility rules in this chapter.